In Creo Parametric 12, there is new functionality called Feature Presets, and this is my favorite functionality in the area of user experience, or what they call UX. Let me explain how this works, but first let me orient you to my model. Here I have a part model. It has multiple different bodies in it. At this point, I need to start creating a lot of holes to place into this model. And I've got to create a lot of the same kinds of holes over and over again. So let me go about doing that. I will click on the hole command. And this opens up the dashboard for the feature. We've got our usual tabs like placement, shape, note, body options, and so on. But if you take a look all the way over on the left, there is a new tab called presets. And I'll show that to you in a moment. Okay, let me actually close the presets tab while I am at it. And so for creating my new hole, it's going to be a standard hole. So let me change that. Straight is good. It's going to be a clearance hole. And for the size, let me go to the drop down list. I want this to be M6. And this is going to be through that's good to next because it's a clearance hole. Let's see for the shape. I'm going to change from a close fit to a medium fit. And for this clearance hole, I don't need top clearance. So I will clear that one as well. So I've configured a bunch of different things. Now let's locate it in the model. These are a bunch of holes in the sketch. So I'll change to the sketched option and then pick that particular sketch. And let's see, we also have the note tab. I'm not going to change anything there from body options. Let me make sure it's just going through that one body. Everything here looks good. So I will hit the check mark. The new holes are created in my part. Let me turn off my point display for a moment so you can see them. Let me rotate my model around to the other side. And I've got to create those same holes on the rear cover. So let me turn on the points there. Let me go to those hole, those points. Let me turn those on. And let's turn the first ones off and turn my point display back on again. And so now I need to create those holes. Let me go to the hole command once more. And once again, I would have to go to standard and then change to clearance and change the size and everything. But this is the beauty of the new presets option. If I go to presets, here it is in my recently used list. I will double click on it and it will apply those different settings to this particular hole. It's got the standard, it's got clearance, it's got the size, it's got the depth option, it's cleared the top clearance, it's got medium fit. So now all I have to do is specify where this is going to go in the model. Let me select my sketch of points and then hit the middle mouse button. Let me turn off my, oops, I think there's one thing that I forgot to change. Let me turn off my point display. Yep, I need to configure the correct body for that to intersect. Let me edit definition and go to body options. And for the body, that should just go through this body. Now I'll hit the check mark. So, by doing that, I've saved myself a whole lot of time. And what this is really good for is that you might be using the same small set of holes over and over again, over again in a bunch of different parts. For example, here is another part similar to that one. Let me turn on my point display. And once again, I need to create those holes in this other different part. Well, I can simplify the process, and also I'm increasing standardization. I'm making sure that I'm using the same thing in all my different parts by accessing this recently used uh, set of holes that I have made. Let me go ahead and define the placement again. Let me do sketched and then select the points. Let me make sure that my body options are going through the correct one. And so I have this preset configuration of this hole and it's in my recently used list that means that this configuration will be available to me for any time that i want to create holes in this current session of creo parametric but 
I want to use this over and over again in other different parts in other different sessions of Creo. So I can save myself even more time and effort by using this button, the plus sign, to save this as a preset. And so let me give it a name. I will call this my M6 clearance for the type of hole and I will click the OK button. And so now it appears in this list for saved holes. And so recently used, that's just for this session, for the saved ones, those are going to be available to me again anytime that I launch Creo Parametric. And this saved hole, this is saved in your Creo Parametric customization.ui file. And so this will be available to me on my computer. And be aware that there are a whole bunch of other different options that you have available in here. So for example, you can edit this. If you make changes, you can update it. I can even set it as the default. And I'll show that to you in a moment for any other new holes that I want to create. And you can also use this button over here in order to export your presets and then import them. And that way you can share them with other people who might want to use them. But anyhow, I'm happy with this one. Let me hit the check mark. And so I've got these new holes created. Let me go back to my previous part to show you another way to use this. Okay, so I have, let me turn off my point display for a moment so you can see those clearance holes that I created. Let me hide that rear cover. And I'm gonna also gonna hide the front cover because I'm gonna create a another couple sets of holes to use. And so let me go to the points that I want to see in this particular situation. Oh, I'll if I turn on my point display. And let's see, I wanna turn on some projected points. So I need to get some other holes on the front and back there, but these aren't going to be clearance holes. So let's go back to that. Let's create a new set of holes and I'll save myself a little bit of time and effort. I will double click on recently used so that it will pre-populate those different options in here, but this is going to be tapped instead. So I'll make that change to the option. Let's change to a blind depth, and this is going to be a depth of 20. And let's see, what else do I need to do for the placement? Well, I can't use the sketched option in this case. I'm gonna to have to use the on point option. And so that is good for the location. And so, I've made a bunch of different changes. Let's save this. Let me save the current settings as a new configuration. And so this will be my M6 tapped and hit the OK button. And so now I've got that one saved and I can hit the check mark over here in order to create that hole. And let me make sure it's going through the right body. Oops, <laughs> let's make sure that is going through the correct body. Let me edit the definition. For some reason, I keep on forgetting to change the bodies. And so let me remove this. And it's supposed to go through this body here. And let me actually select some other different bodies as well because I'm going to pattern this in a moment. So I'll select these other different bodies, hit the check mark, and that way I can pattern this hole. Let me change the option to point. Let me turn on my point display. And let's use from feature and select the projected points and hit the check mark. And so now I've got the points going through that one over there. And again, I can do this in another different part model. Let me switch over to the other part model. Let me expand my design items folder, expand the bodies. Let's hide the front cover and the rear cover. Let's turn on the display of the points that I need. Now let me turn off my note display. And so now let's go about creating the holes that we need. So let's see, let's turn on our point display. So now I wanna go create those tapped holes on these points. So let me go to the hole command and I can go to my presets. And I can either use the recently used list or I could use the saved list. 
Let me use the saved list. And so again, it pre-populates everything in there. Let me change this to the on point option and then select the point and the surface. This time I will be smart and I'll remember to update the bodies that it should go through. And then hit the check mark. Let me turn off the point. Oh, actually, I need the point display in a moment. While the hole is still selected, let me right mouse click and hold. I will go to the pattern option. Let me use the right mouse button to go to the point option and then select from feature and select these points. Hit the check mark. Turn off my point display. Turn off my point display, <laughs> repaint the screen, and there you can see the hole. So again, this is the feature presets. This is an amazing time saver. And so I am a big fan of this functionality. I even sort of think of it as like a quick way of doing single feature UDFs. I don't know, it's just wonderful. Again, it's a great way of, of increasing your company standards by making sure that everyone's using the same things and also just speeding up your workflow. Now, feature presets are currently available for a number of different features. They're available for your extrudes. Here you can see the presets tab over here. Let me cancel out of that. They're also available for your revolves. They're available for holes like we showed, rounds, chamfers, and one other interesting one, curves from equation. And that's because curve from equation, well, that'll save you a whole lot of writing your different equations that you are going to use in your model. So let me cancel out of there. And so that is the new feature preset functionality. I think you're going to love it. I recommend that you start using this immediately in Creo 12.